morning. It's a very cold morning here. As in Drumna Drocket, which is in Loch Ness. My windscreen has frozen, so that's good. I'm heading to Eileen Donan right now. Today's a really big day for me. Today is the Isle of Skye day, which is really important for me. I've been wanting to go to Skye for as long as I can remember. It's kind of the main reason I did this trip was to come to Skye. My new puppy is going to be called Skye and I'm also going to be spreading Luna's ashes um, somewhere on Skye if it feels right. So it's a big day, it's quite an important day and I've got so much planned as well, hence why I'm here at 5.30 ready to go. It took me an hour to get to Eileen Donan which is the scene of uh, the wedding in Maid of Honor which is one of my favourite films. Not an Outlander related trip so far. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I've had a good night's sleep. I'm ready to go. There's a better place to sit and eat your porridge. Please let me know. You can see the mist just walking across the water down here. Absolutely incredible. Stone circle that I just seem to have happened across. I don't know if I can actually get to it, but it's pretty cool. things I'd like to add. One, it's 0.5 degrees. Uh, it's freezing still. <laughs> Two, I am desperate for the toilet and there's no toilets anywhere so that's a bit of a situation. Three, I seem to be getting into the castle and it's all closed so I don't really know what's going on here. I'm sure I'm going to get told off in a minute. Did I buy a ticket? No, because it's closed, but the gates are open. So I seem to be here. <laughs> forest person. <laughs> That's all I have to say on the matter of when you desperately need the toilet. <laughs> so it's time to cross the bridge to Sky.
made it to Sky, and I'm crying my eyes out. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Just some information for you guys. I'm at the ferry pools now. My phone turned off because we got too high up and my ears popped. I once again need wee. <laughs> so I'm back in this situation. I've got to find somewhere weird where nobody else is. jealous of myself that I got to see that. There's something I'm never going to unsee. Wow. I'm having a meltdown. I need my third poo of the day and there's no toilets anywhere. And it's really hard to find places with trees because everywhere is just open land and like, well there's like no cars here. What if there was a car and I just see my bare bum? the situation it's very stressful and it's like I need this urgently that's stress number one stress number two at Dunvegan Castle miles and miles drive can't get in because it's 14 pound entry it's not even open yet 14 pounds to get in I've already seen that many castles there's no point I'm just really frustrated then I was like okay fine next stop which is free is the Fairy Glen thinking oh it's just round the corner it's in Portree fucking hour drive again I can't do this. <laughs> Having a meltdown. So much driving. It's, it's this is um, too much driving. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> lunch it may be 10 o'clock but I was getting cranky so you know needed some toning down spilled jam from my peanut butter and jam sandwich all down me but it's okay you know because it's a beautiful day I'm in sky and I have finally reached the fairy glen it does feel a little bit like a scene out of the hobbit being here not quite sure how these were created but they are called it's called the fairy glen and I don't think there's actually much evidence of fairies here in legend. I think it was probably nicknamed this. Look at that. But it is, I feel like I'm either in The Hobbit or The Teletubbies. Oh, which is kind of the whole feel of Scotland, really. Every house on the Isle of Skye looks the same. Literally every single one, wherever you go, looks exactly the same. I can hear a cuckoo. Quote of the day by a gentleman just walked past me. You don't go to find yourself with a big suitcase. Walking up to the old man of store, 
about an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Um, as you can hear, I'm already out of breath. And surprise, surprise, I need a wee again. over there. I can't actually look because I'm terrified of heights but I decided to climb a more or less sheer rock face. No, stay in my video. Oliver's saving my life. I followed him up the mountain and now he's helping me back down as payment. The safest way. <laughs> well, on my arse. <laughs> this is the view. terrifying experience of my entire life. I literally almost died on that fucking mountain because I was like, oh, let's follow this guy up the path. That's not a path, but it's quicker. I ended up clinging on with my fingernails, sliding down the silt because it looks like it's like that and it's actually like that. So apparently I was doing what is called a scrambling, which is what he's good at, but not me. Scrambling is where you do rock climbing without the ropes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. He had to help me down on my ass because I, I was literally crying. I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how, to, how I'm going to survive. I thought we were going to have to ring Mountain Rescue, honestly. Oh, stick to the path, kids, stick to the path. Tree Beach. This is where the Maid of Honor pub, pub scene was filmed. Yeah. Um, there's a bits of kind of crockery and glass in this beach, which is really odd. Not really sure quite why. Just chilling on the beach right now. Today has been interesting so far. 
feel a little bit defeated, I think. Store, climbing the old manor store and nearly dying was a bit of a scare. And then also, when I kept driving around in friggin' circles, it was winding me up. And I'm like now panicking, oh, what if my car doesn't make it? What if I can't get home? It's really funny. As soon as you let fear in, it kind of takes over. So it's just quite interesting to see how... But apparently this is the only day of good weather Sky has had in a week, so it's clearly waited for me. I don't know if I'm going to spread Luna's ashes today. I've been thinking about it a lot, but it doesn't feel right. Maybe I want her for the rest of the journey as well, I don't know. I don't want to go back to England to the M40. Ugh. I want to stay up here. Well, maybe not this far out, but the Highlands. The Highlands is beautiful. The sky is beautiful. I like being on this beach. I don't really know what to say about today. Like, look at my face. <laughs> so many tears. So many spots. <laughs> it's been a challenge. I feel emotionally drained from it. But I have learnt a lot. And I've seen Sky. I've seen Portree. You know, that's everything I've, I've um, wanted to do for ages, so, um, yeah, I'm ready for tomorrow. I need some sleep first, let's be honest. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> Bye for now.